Hello everybody, it's good to be with you once again. Before I share with you a devotional, I'd like to make a brief announcement. On the 22nd of July, that's a Wednesday at noon, we're going to have an informal get-together at Hamilton Alliance Church outside, uh, located in the, in the grass area outside Discovery Land. We uh, want to encourage you to uh, bring a, a lunch with you for, for lunch, being at noon, and a chair. We will provide uh, uh, water or drinks for you, as well as dessert. Uh, we will be practicing uh, social distancing. We encourage you to wear masks, of course, except when you're eating. We have some uh, uh, entertainment as well. Mike and Karen Coes are going to lead us in uh, some singing, and uh, we just want to take this time to uh, uh, get together uh, in a safe environment, and uh, I hope you can join us for this time together. Uh, we will be providing some tents for shelter too. I know some would like to be in, under the shade, if especially if it's sunny, and we will be providing that as well. So please consider joining us on July 22nd at noon, uh, just outside Discovery Land at the church. You may be wondering who's in charge these days. Is anybody in charge in all that we see that's going on in our world? My father was a, a very good baseball player. He played first base, but he also knew how to pitch. He could throw curves, sliders, and uh, one pitch was a knuckleball. And uh, that is one pitch I did not enjoy catching as uh, we'd go out in the backyard and play catch. Uh, a knuckleball, if you know anything about it, moves in various directions and we just don't know which way it's gonna go. And I was always concerned that it would move the last minute and hit me in the head. Uh, well, there are knuckleballs being thrown us uh, at life. We don't know which way life is going to move or which way it's going to go. However, God knows exactly which way life is going. We are not in charge. We are not in control. And we hate it can lead to fear as well. Uh, that's why people stockpile various goods like toilet paper. In reality, we are in charge of nothing. Michael W. Smith uh, wrote on God's sovereignty or, or did a song on God's sovereignty that we, I think, have sung at Appleton Alliance Church in the not too distant past. Uh, one of the phrases goes, you're with us in the fire and the flood. You're faithful forever, perfect in love. You are sovereign over us. God is sovereign over all. He is sovereign over the virus. He is sovereign over the chaos. He is perfect in love and sovereign over all. Therefore, God not only understands the virus, but he has a purpose for it. He has a purpose for the, the chaos that we find in our world. God does nothing and permits nothing without his wise purposes. Nothing just happens by chance. Everything flows from the eternal purposes or counsels of God. We see that in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11. All of it is wisdom. All of it is purposeful. All comes from a sovereign God who loves us and loves us dearly. So I encourage you to be calm by God, be calm by God's sovereignty, uh, not uh, riled by the virus, calm by God's sovereignty, not tormented by the chaos, and remind yourselves that God is in control, even in our chaotic, unsettled world. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, 27, Jesus gave us encouragement not to fear. He said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, give I unto you. 
do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. We should not be afraid, folks, because of the gospel, because of the Jesus, and because of that, we are safe for all eternity. Good to see you again. Goodbye.